been uh, just to clarify and link up the two parts of this discussion <clears throat> if the minister can maybe reflect when he's organizing um, when the meeting is being organized that we have a situation in which the organizations and the basis on which they can uh, complain will be decided by secondary legislation so we don't know which organizations what the remit is we can't assess how effective that will be. We do know that the super complainants, complainants uh, do not, you do, are, will not be wanting to overwhelm Ofcom, so things will either be bundled into that. Um, individuals could well be excluded from the super complaint system in the way that I indicated, because super complaints won't represent everyone or even minority views. In other words, there is a gap here. Now, I want that bit gone, but it doesn't mean that we don't need a robust complaints system. And the government, I would suggest, need to advise before report stage, at least, and in the meetings in between, how you complain if something goes wrong. At the moment, the British public have no way of complaining at all, unless somebody on a second, you know, an secondary legislation somewhere you sneak through, possibly. Not helpful. Well, um, as I say on the, on the um, issue discussed over, over individual complaints um, and indeed super complaints, I'm very happy to, to take these matters under further consideration. I can, I, I'm, again, just 